Here we would like to determine the common ratio of each of these geometric uh, sequences. We also want to find the next three terms and we also want to find the nth term of each of these sequences. So first of all let's find the common ratio. The common ratio is the R value. The R value is basically responsible for transforming the first term into the next term after that. So we're talking about 332s times r should give you the 3 fourths. So naturally, to find the r value, you just divide the next term by the preceding term. 3 fourths divided by 3 30 seconds. And that's the same thing as multiplying the reciprocal of it. 3 30 seconds 30 second thirds. Right? As you can see, thirds, uh, threes cancel out, so it's going to be 32 over 4, which is 8. So the next three terms should be easy to find now. It's going to be 332s times 8. Well, next three, right? So uh, 3 fourths times 8, right, to give us the third term. Uh, 3 fourths times 8 times 8, right? So basically we're squaring the 8. And then we're cubing the 8 for the, for the uh, fifth term. Okay, and this should give you what? This should give you 8 over 4 is 2, so that's 6. Then this should give you... Uh, this should give you uh, 2 times 8, 16 times 3 is 48. And this, of course, should give you 48 times 8. And 48 times 8 is 50 times 8 minus 2 times 8. 50 times 8 is 400 minus uh, 16. 400 minus 16 is 384. And I, and I just did this in my head. I didn't use a calculator. All right, so these are the next terms after these first two. Third term, fourth term, fifth term respectively. And now of course we need to find the uh, nth term formula. So the nth term, we'll just write it as a n. And of course when, when it comes to uh, geometric sequences we have to understand that we're going to involve the first term we involve the first term, and then we're going to multiply that by 8, okay? Now, 8 to the what? 8 is going to be multiplied to n minus 1 in this case, right? Because n is equal to, when n is equal to 1, we should get this. When n is equal to 1, this whole thing is gone because 1 minus 1 is 0. 8 to the 0 power is 1. So 1 times 3 30 seconds is 3 30 seconds itself, like it should be for the first term. However, I really dislike the look of this. I don't like the fact that we have a fraction here. We can actually work this out. So what I want to do I want to take the 3 out, and 132s can be expressed as 2 to the negative 5. Notice that you can write it this way. 2 to the negative 5 is going to be precisely 1 over 30 seconds, because we took the 3 out. It's already there. And now we can express 8 as 2 to the thirds, being raised to power n minus 1. Okay, which should give you, if you use your algebra, this should give you what? This should give you 3, and then this is what? Uh, 2 to the 3n minus 3 minus 5. So it's going to be, it's going to be uh, 2 to the power of 3n minus 3 minus 5 is what? 3n minus 8. If you do the algebra, right, you're just going to combine the same bases, 
Before you combine them, of course, you're going to distribute this power, 3n minus 3, and then you're going to combine the two bases by basically adding the 3n minus 3 with the minus 5, you should get 3n minus 8 as the single base 2. Right? So I know you might say, but this is not the first term. You're going to get 3 30 seconds. You're going to get 3. No, you're not going to get 3. If you, if you put in n is equal to 1, you're going to get 3 minus 8. 2 to the minus 5 is 1 over 32. So you do get 3 32s for the first term. You don't get 3. So be, be sure that you understand. The fact that we have a different um, uh, power for the 2 here compensates for the fact that we no longer have a 332. We have a 3 as a seemingly first term. But that's not true. It's not going to be the first term. All right? I just like this better. I don't like using the fraction like this. But basically, this is equal to that. All right? But we can make this look neat. So we just say that this is the nth term formula for this sequence geometric sequence. Now the next sequence, that's going to be fairly easy, right? You know the common ratio is going to be minus 1, right? 5 divided by negative 5 is not minus 1. Or negative 5 divided by 5, same thing, minus 1. So the next three terms, that's going to be easy, right? You just alternate the signs, and that's it. You just alternate the signs. And Let's see, so you alternate the signs, so you should get 5, you should get minus 5, and then you should get 5 again, right? So that should be clear. And just multiply this by negative 1, you get 5. Then this by negative 1 again, you get negative 5. And this by negative 1 again, you get positive, right? That's, that's pretty easy, that's easy to see. So now, how do we find the nth uh, term formula? You realize, of course, that 5 can be taken out, and the negative 1 will be played around with. How? When n is equal to 1, if we put n here, is that going to work? When n is equal to 1, this should be negative, because the out power for the negative number gives you still the negative, and it's good, because the first term should be negative. right? So you're not going to write n minus 1. n minus 1 will be false, because that would when n is equal to 1, you would get a positive, right? Minus 1 to the 0 power is positive, but you should have a negative number, negative 5, right? So minus 1 is not necessary. This will be the correct representation of the uh, nth term formula. Now, lastly here, the r value first is going to be the quotient of the next term by the preceding term, right? So 1.05 divided by 1, 1.05. Good. So the ratio seems to be the same as the second term. That's good. So the next three terms. Next three terms. Next three terms will be what? 1.05 times the ratio times itself. So we're going to square that. As you might have guessed, the next one will be cubed because you always multiply it by 1.05, whatever the preceding term was, 1.05 quadrupled. So that's easy. So now the nth term formula is easy as well, pretty easy, right? So you just write, uh, of course, 1.05. And remember, we can write 1 outside, of course. But if you write 1 outside, it's like not writing it at all, right? You can just write, you, you don't have to write 1 because we know that the number always, all, always multiplies by 1 to give itself, right? So just write parentheses. Now, we, we got to transform this into a 1 when n is equal to 1. So if we, if, we put, if we just put n, it's not sufficient. Because when n is equal to 1, this, is, this gives you 1.05 for the first term. But the first term should be 1, not 1.05. So you should subtract 1 so that when n is equal to 1, you get 0 for the power. 1.05 to the 0 power is 1. When n is equal to 2, you get 2 minus 1 for the power. So you get 1 as the resulting power. 1.05 to the first power, when n is equal to 2, gives you precisely 1.05. And so on and so on for the next terms, right? n here will be 3. The resulting power is 2, as it should be. n here is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, beautiful, and n value is 5, 
for the fifth term, this will be the fifth term precisely, 5 minus 1, 4 power. All right? So I hope this was uh, useful. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.